80 kilogram Tarzan tries to cross a chasm by swinging at the end of a long hanging vine. If the radius of his swing is 10 meters and he attains a speed of 7.7 meters per second at the bottom of the swing, what must the tension in the vine be at the bottom of the swing? Let's follow the problem solving procedures. At the bottom of the swing, Tarzan has an acceleration that is uh, upward because he is doing circular motion. So, so the acceleration is the centripetal acceleration pointing towards the center. And the center of the circle is up there. So that's his uh, direction of acceleration. And then when we draw the force diagram, there's the non-contact force, mg, he's 80 kilograms, so mg is 800. He's touching the vine, the vine gives him a tension going up. He's not touching anything else, so that's it. And then for the net force equals to ma, since the acceleration is pointing upward, that means the upward force must be bigger. So we go the bigger side minus the smaller side. The tension minus the downward 800 equals to m times a. The mass is 80. The acceleration, that's the centripetal acceleration. So we can use uh, d squared over r. So this is uh, 80 times 7.7 uh, .7 squared divided by 10, which is uh, 80 times 5.93 and this will give you the tension T minus 800 equals to that. This gives us 1274 newtons. Notice how this tension is much bigger than his real weight, 800 newtons. Now this tension is also his apparent weight because he must be sinking down, pulling down on the vine with that much force. So at that moment, his apparent weight is heavier than his real weight. It has to be more than his real weight because he has an upward acceleration. The upward tension must be bigger than the downward real weight. Here I have a scale and a one kilogram weight. I just want to show you that when I swing it back and forth, the scale's reading is more than the weight 10 newtons at the bottom of the swing. And the faster the swing, the larger the scale reading at the bottom. Now look at the force diagram and the direction of acceleration. Does it remind you of those elevator problems? If Tarzan happens to be in an elevator that has the exact same upward acceleration, 5.93 meters per second squared, his force diagram would be exactly the same as this one. And his force equation would be net force equals to ma, the acceleration goes up, the upward force is bigger, so the net force is t minus 800 equals to m, 80 kilograms times the acceleration 5.93, which is exactly the same as uh, this force equation. 
which means that you will find his tension, the tension in the vine, is 1274 newtons, exactly the same, which means that his apparent weight, 1274 newtons, exactly the same. The only thing that is different is that in the elevator's case, we cannot use the a equals to v squared over r for the acceleration because Tarzan is not doing circular motion in the elevator problem.